Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for my weekly Aldi haul. This is going to be the last one before the Christmas holidays and considering how big of a meal I'm planning, this is really actually a small haul. We still need to make one more run to uh, another market that has some items that they carry special and also since this is early in the week, I don't want to get some of the fresh ingredients until middle of the week because then it'll be you know nicer when I have to actually cook it on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So let's just jump right into this haul. Okay dokie, so we've got a whole gallon of whole milk, of course that's for the big dog's mom. Next to it we've got a half gallon of whole milk which is for the big dog himself. And next to that is some regular half and half, which is for our coffee, which we've been drinking a lot of lately because it's been cold and it's snow packed outside. All right, then I have one, two, and three dozen large golden hen eggs. Uh, one of these is for his, uh, his mom. The other two are for um, us because I cooked a lot of eggs last week. So, um... You know, I just was getting a little low and just decided two dozen. Then I don't have to worry about ever running out of eggs for now. Okay, then I have here our spinach, which is, you know, whether it's for our sandwiches, salads, or for some eggs. I was making these sandwiches for the big dog the last couple weeks where I'll scramble up some eggs with, um, sometimes I put cheese, but definitely lots of spinach. And then I shape it into you know kind of a small enough uh, a patty I guess that would fit in the sandwich and then I build a sandwich on top of that and then turn it into like a grilled cheese slash scrambled egg cold cut sandwich it's really really filling but he loves it, it takes a few minutes but comes out pretty good all right then next to that we've got our mandies um, you know, just a fruit for the week, even though the week is kind of short because the holiday is right at the end of the week. Um, it's always good to have fresh fruit to, you know, uh, not eat so much junk food, especially before the holidays. Then we have here our sweet peppers. This one definitely has one red, one orange, and one yellow. Um, you know, out of peppers. And um, the only dish I am making this week, aside from our big Christmas meal, is just going to be a simple you know, ground beef type pasta in the Instant Pot. So I like to always throw some peppers in there. And then for our Christmas meal, one of the dishes I'm making is a shrimp fried rice. And I do like to put pepper in there too. You gotta have a lot of color in there. You know, you've got the shrimp, the orange from the shrimp, the yellow from eggs, you got green from the green onions. You want a little bit of uh, pop of color from the one of these peppers, um, green soybeans or edamame. Um, some onion and ginger. I mean, it's going to be a loaded shrimp um, fried rice. And that's just one of the dishes we're making for Christmas Day. Okay, then here we have some broccoli crowns. And that is just for the one meal I plan to make this week. Just have some veggies on the side. We really, really like air frying this. Um, I like to make it so these uh, floret parts are just a little bit crispy. And I think last time I put, um, in addition to garlic and onion powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, um, I also put some Italian seasoning. And it just gave it a nice taste. So um, that's just for, a, pretty much I only plan to cook one meal because we do have leftovers. And then also we'll probably just do takeout because I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking in the week. I don't feel like cooking all week. All right, then we have here six bulbs of fresh garlic. Now, one of the dishes I'm going to make on Christmas Day um, is the Asian fusion garlic noodles. So you need some fresh garlic. I mean, definitely need fresh garlic. And then also going to make Korean kalbi, you know, the barbecue um, beef short ribs. And part of the sauce that goes with those short ribs, you want some fresh garlic. So... Garlic comes in handy. Uh, we're going to have lots and lots of garlic in our meals. And I'll probably even put some fresh garlic in the fried rice, among other things we're going to be eating. Okay. Then we have here some dun, 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 premium sliced bacon from Appleton Farms. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it for breakfast this today or maybe next weekend. 
um, or even maybe Christmas morning. I'm not sure. It's just the big dog's been hankering for some bacon, so I picked up a pack of it. All right, then we have here some light brown sugar, and contrary to what you might think, I am not baking. I actually use brown sugar a lot in my Asian marinades. So I was just getting a little low, um, scraping the bottom of the last bag I have. So picked up some of that. Um, I needed olive oil and this is the second week in a row that they were completely out of olive oil. I mean, the whole shelf was empty. Lots of vegetable oil and you know, I have that. So I'll, I'll just use vegetable oil for now. Um, but the only thing on the shelf where they normally have the olive oils, including the expensive ones and the cheaper ones, was a couple jars of avocado oil. I was like, wow, I've never seen them so out, but that's all right. We'll deal with the vegetable oil. All right, then we have here, this was a seasonal item in the freezer. Um, it's some... Um, uh, tempura shrimp by Fremont. Um, it's 12 shrimp in the box. It says it's 16 ounces. Um, this can either be a quick meal during the week because we love uh, shrimp tempura or uh, maybe if the big dog gets hungry and he wants to just air fry this for a quick snack or lunch or something, it's, it's there. So um, we normally buy this from the Asian market where they make it fresh, but this would be fine um, and if you put it in the air fryer it comes out excellent because it's crispy and you know uh, just almost like it's fresh from the restaurant or something okay then I have here a bit of a splurge for the big dog it's Baker's Treat mini muffins blueberry flavor these remind me of I think Intamin's makes his little muffins um, I'm not sure if he will take these to work and nosh on it, but also he's been complaining lately that we don't have any sweet snacks for him in the evening when he's jonesy for something junk to eat. So I thought that might fit the bill. And then behind there we have the mini apple pies. Same thing, um, these are the ones he really, really, really loves. So he can either take these um, to work and have it with his coffee in the morning or he can have it in the evening as a snack so he's got apple pies and mini blueberry muffins I better not hear too many complaints about not having any sweet stuff in the house and then back here it's Millville Berry Kids Crunch which of course is just like uh, what is it crunch berry cereal um, he's been eating another generic brand I think Malto meal or something. He bought it when he was he ran into the grocery store, um, and he wanted more cereal because he was out. So I said, I know that Aldi sells a crunch berry uh, taste alike. So here it is. So this would go perfect with that half gallon of milk I got him. Okay, um, more junk food. We have some white rounds tortilla chips by Clancy. That is going to be for. Um, we do have some salsa dip. We also have some of those some uh, guacamole cups. But I am going to make his cheese dip this week with the uh, cheese and jalapenos in there. So this will go perfect. So this will be kind of a week of snacking. Um, you know, especially since with the holiday coming up on the weekend, we'll be home a lot. And so he can snack on some chips and cheese dip. And then we have here his usual... Genuine Fago Delicious Cola. He's been drinking this stuff like it's going out of style. So I just got another 12 pack. And then I have some Aldi Finds. Um, I didn't buy a whole lot, but I was looking for a long time. They had a lot of cute things. Um, some things were on clearance because they were, um, you know, for the holidays, like the 12 days of bath bombs and stuff. But you know, didn't need that. They had all kinds of cute animal things. I was tempted to buy this cat tunnel that had a little pop-up cat house and you could put a couple of them together and make a little maze. But I was like, no. Um, I resisted. So what I bought um, are just some of these little hand sanitizers for 99 cents because I'm putting my Christmas gifts together and um, I bought a lot of these little hand sanitizers with the little silicone... Um, holder to put on your bag and um, I actually needed more than I bought and I was going to go back to that store where I got it from but since I saw these at Aldi it's the same price it was a dollar I thought um, I can substitute with these um, 
So I'll have enough to hand out for Christmas. Mostly it's for coworkers. Um, but everybody can use some hand sanitizer in this time of COVID. So we've got Cool Fall Breeze and Wild Berries Flavor. And the last Aldi finds is a two pair of ladies, what is it called? It? Holiday socks. Two pairs of novelty socks. And this is, you know, it's got like champagne glasses that say Prosecco, ho, ho, ho. And I don't know what the second one is. Oh, it looks like uh, champagne bottles or something. Anyways, um, you know, I thought it'd be good to wear, because I do have to work on Christmas Eve, so I could wear a pair of holiday socks. I could wear these around the house on Christmas Day. But if I'm not mistaken, the box said 99 cents. I have to check my receipt, and of course the price is right here on the bottom. But um, for 99 cents, two pairs of socks. And, you know, I like these because they're thin. Um, they go well inside the so inside the shoe. You know, your, your foot doesn't feel suffocated. So um, if it is 99 cents, I'm like, well, it's 50 cents a pair. You really can't go wrong. So I bought these holiday socks. And, you know, socks are perfect. I could even wear it when it's not Christmas because really, who looks at your feet? Okay, so that is our entire haul for the week like i said not much we are doing a bigger run to the asian store to get a lot of my ingredients for a christmas meal um i think at the end of this video i am going to put in a, a little um list of what i plan to make for christmas um it's a lot of food for two people um but what's going to happen is like i said we're cooking extra food for his mother he's going to take a uh not just a plate. He's just going he's going to take some containers over. And then his sister, who we normally see for the holidays but we're not this year. Um she says she doesn't have time to cook. And when she found out what we're making, even though it's completely non-traditional. I mean, no turkey, no ham, no mashed potatoes. It's going to be mostly Asian food with some steak on the side. Um she said she would like some. So, um now we're cooking for at least four, maybe even five people. I'm not sure if her husband would eat the food because um, I'm not sure how adventurous of an eater he is, not to mention he is diabetic, so um, she cooks special food for him. So anyways, uh, you know, we're all, we're all going to be eating a lot on Christmas. So I have to cook a lot, and it's not just for the two of us like it normally is. So anyways, everybody have a good holiday, whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, or nothing at all. Um, you know, enjoy the holidays and stay safe. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and leave any comments if you like. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.